What we're going to try to do is improve the almost unimprovable. This is a Lamy Vibrant Pink Owl Star with a very nice medium Z50 nib on it. There we go. I'm going to take a close look at that because we're going to be changing it. I'm going to change it for a gold one. So if you look underneath here, we can see that there are sort of like two little runners that go over corresponding little marks on the nib. So the nib just fits over the bits on the feed. And there we are. And that's, I always like looking at nibs, they always look good, don't they? So here we go. So we'll just demonstrate that this works. So sort the focus out. There we go. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of good flow here. My handwriting's too awful to risk. So what we're going to try and do now is remove this steel nib and replace it with this gold nib and see if we notice any difference. So I'm going to take a bit of sellotape. Excuse me, I'm trying to work around the tripod here, which is not, not very easy. And I think I just knocked it, but never mind. There we go. So wrap that fairly well round. With a wet nib, you're going to get more difficulty than with a dry nib. So, but it comes off quite nicely. There we go. So that's come off. So here we have the nib, and you'll see the two sort of runners down the side there that need to be lined up with the two grooves that you'll see in the back there. And it really is pretty straightforward. Famous last words, eh? Here we go, so here we go, here's the nib. So I take the nib here, hold it like that, and rather than try and do it watching on the screen. Actually, I prefer to do it upside down as a rule so I can see what's going on. So you just guide those two bits over there, and there it is. And to establish the flow, I usually just dampen my forefinger and that gets the capillary action working straight away. Now, I can actually feel a difference. I mean, I would say that, wouldn't I? But there we go. This does feel a good deal smoother. And, the, I mean, lamy nibs aren't the flexiest in the world. But the nice thing about 14 karat gold is that it does have that little bit of give. And if you think it's sort of a bit like the suspension on a car, that's what makes it feel better. I'm just going to switch the phone off here. Right, so having got the gold nib on, um, I want to show you how to remove a gold nib. You may need to do that, you may not. You may want to try it on another pen, I don't know. But this is where the importance of the sellotape method comes in. You don't want to be putting downward pressure on a gold nib. You're going to bend it, you're going to damage it, there's no doubt about it. Steel is steel and steel is tough stuff. Gold is not. It's the flexibility and the movement you get from gold that makes it such a pleasant material to make a pen nib out of. So I'm going to reach around here, grab another piece of sellotape, pop it over the top of the nib, wrap it around quite nicely and then just pull. And off it comes. Grab and remove the sellotape from the original nib. There we are. And just pop this back on. So upside down again, exactly the same technique. On we go. And there we go, we're back again. A Volkswagen experience compared with the Mercedes we were getting with the gold nib. There you go, that's how to do it.